uh, have a construction company. Uh, it's with my husband and my sons. And um, I'm the business manager for the company. So I'm, I'm HR, I'm payroll, I'm everything because it's a small company. We only have about um, seven employees. I had never heard of QuickBooks. I was old school where I, before I had done everything by hand, you know, uh, paper, typer, typewriter. So when I, we started a company again, one of my friends said, hey, you should get QuickBooks. And so I went to Best Buy and I bought the, the thing, not knowing how to do anything really. But, you know, I have a uh, accounting background, so I figured some things were OK, like I was doing invoices. That was pretty easy, creating my invoice page. But then there was things I didn't understand, like, you know, how to do the estimates and create an invoice from an estimate and certain things like that. But I was kind of nervous. Finally understood how to do estimates and then do the invoices on that and how to create, you know, a reconciled. I knew how to reconcile bank accounts and credit cards, but it was an aha moment for me because it's like that kept me, you know, on track to make sure that everything was paid and my checkbook balanced. And so I really learned from that. And then just knowing how to do payroll, you know, it was so much easier to do payroll on QuickBooks versus having to go through the book, finding how many employees and, you know, how many uh, deductibles. And I was like, oh, my God. So payroll was the best thing for me with QuickBooks. I can always go back and refer to it, you know, because I can go back to my library and say, oh, yeah, I missed that step. I love having that resource for me. I, you know, I didn't know, like, if what she was going to teach was going to meet my need in the construction company. I didn't know if the stuff that I would talk about when she would have the live sessions, you know, was that kept confidential. And she was just so good about it, you know. She always would ask if you wanted to share your screen or if you wanted to share your information. Of course, you know, if you did, you did. If you didn't, did it. Once I started to learn her way of doing things, it, it made me just feel real comfortable. And then I love that I can go on Facebook and there's so many people asking so many different questions. I'm like always looking to see, okay, what questions are they asking that I might not remember to ask? So I, I really just enjoy it. I like, I love Candace's energy, you know, she's just funny and she's uh, very laid back and I love the way she explains things in detail. And, and I think sometimes she almost like reads our mind, you know, we, we ask a question, but we really don't know how to ask it. And then she kind of says, well, I think what you're saying is, and it was like, yeah, that's what I meant. So I, I like just listening to her trainings. I just, you know, encourage people to join if they're hesitating, you know, give it a try. I mean, go on YouTube or her blogs and you know, if you're struggling, when, when I started, I just started looking how to pay your payroll taxes. Um, and I I saw her YouTube and I thought, oh my God, I better join so I can get all the details. And so, and that's how I learned. And I took my notes and up to this day, I still look at those notes that I took from her training. So there, if you're hesitant, if people are out there hesitating, you should try it first. And I'm sure if you don't like it, you know, you can always quit, but I'm sure you're going to love it. And you're going to say, oh, I, I got to keep watching more of her channels and I love that she gives you tips even at the end of the year which I had no clue and um, her tips about how to do how before you go to your tax account and what to give them that was like the best thing I ever had <laughs> a couple of years ago so I encourage you to join.